For the first time this spring, inclement weather moved the sixth practice of spring for the Fighting Irish football team indoors. But because of the fine facilities here at the Loftus Center, the move indoors today did not impact the practice plan. As you can see behind me, they are wrapping up practice number six. And our practice report today will focus on the safety position. Now, as you know, the UND.com cameras are the only cameras that are allowed into every single spring practice session. And much of today's report was shot earlier this week outdoors. Fans and media have paid a lot of attention to the fact Notre Dame will have to replace both starting cornerbacks this fall, a focus that has overshadowed the experience returning at safety. A group of seven players are competing for playing time at the safety position, led by number 26, senior Jamora Slaughter, who started 10 games at safety in 2011, and number 17, senior Zeke Mata, who has started 15 games during his Irish career, including seven starts at safety last season. The safeties will be coached by one of the newcomers to the Irish staff, 58-year-old Bob Elliott, son of longtime Iowa athletic director Bump Elliott. Well, I really like these guys. I think we've got a good group of guys at the safety position. Jamora Slaughter and Zeke Mata have some great experience. They've played a lot of football, and they're, and they're outstanding uh, players and, and outstanding people. Uh, Austin Collinsworth is having a really good spring. Uh, he's, he's getting to the point now where uh, I'm starting to think we have three that are capable of winning for us uh, in a game. Uh, Chris Salvi is, is, is outstanding, uh, an outstanding effort player, and he's smart. Uh, so we're, we're getting some good uh, competition there from the guys behind those two veteran safeties, and we need that. We need to develop depth. We need to have guys that can step in and also play other roles in the, in the secondary when we put our sub packages on the field. Elliott is beginning his 34th season as a collegiate head coach and his 23rd coaching the secondary. Elliott has also spent 11 seasons as a defensive coordinator at San Diego State, Kansas State, Iowa, and Ball State. As a player, Elliott earned three letters as a defensive back at Iowa between 1972 and 1975. He talked with UND.com about his coaching philosophy. You know, my philosophy is, is uh, I'm, I'm coaching because of these players, because of the relationships that you develop with players. Uh, that's what makes me go. That's what I get up in the morning, uh, get excited about being around these guys. Uh, the players here at Notre Dame are really fun to be around. They take coaching well. Uh, they want to be good. They want to be great. Uh, and you can't ask for more than that. So uh, I'm going to try and teach the best I can, um, uh, try and give them little insights and in what could really help them. Uh, in, in certain situations and techniques, uh, but th that relationship is something that we try and build on a daily basis. Uh, and that allows us then to make corrections and the players understand that we're not, uh, you know, that, that, that we're, we have their best interests at heart uh, when we make those corrections and they don't take it personal. As you are about to see when you watch Bob Elliott coaching on the practice field, it quickly becomes apparent that he is a great teacher. It's a reality TV show. I'm doing my own reality TV. <laughs> I had to go, oh my go, go with Sarah. Now he's going to watch this. I don't halfway, through, halfway through practice, the Kardashians are coming in. <laughs> the real life. Yeah. yeah. Me Bob and Bell. Chloe. Bob Elliott. Uh. <laughs> Me and Chloe today. Great day, Bennett. Keep getting better, man. Technique wins, right? Trust your technique. Have a great day, Danny. Keep coming, Austin. You're having a great spring. Keep it going. Keep it going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good start to the day. Good start to the day. Explode. That's it. Explosion now. Plant point and drive. Plant point and drive. Good. Next one ball is coming. That's it. Good. Plant point and drive. Plant point and drive. Good. Ball's coming. Ah, come on, Zeke. Got to get them all, man. Zeke, you're going to get about 10 to 15 chances at interceptions this season. Got to get them all. Got to get them all, man. So as Jamoris walks down the sideline, if I go at this angle, what am I giving him a chance to do? Okay, so what's the angle I want to take? I want to, take, I want to go right for that hip and then slingshot down the sideline here at the end. All right, take the low angle and slingshot at the end of the play. You don't have to have a perfect tackle here. We want, we want to knock him out of bounds. We don't want to push him out of bounds. We want to wrap him. The worst thing you can do is just kind of ease off at the end and try and push him out of bounds, and he'll lean back into you and knock you right back on the field of play. 
Okay? So this is what we call a slingshot tackle. When I say hit, you'll slide like this. You come right down the sideline if and, and move out just a step off the sideline. If he gets too high, cut back on him. Okay? You be low enough on that hip, all right, that there's no way he can cut back. All right? And we just rotate lines here. We just rotate lines. Here we go. All right. Hit. Good. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you when it's time to go. Okay. <coughs> Hit. Go. That's the idea. Great. Go. Good fly. Ah, there we go. There's the angle we don't want right there. Good job. Let's do it again. Same two. Good job, Jamoris. That's the idea, right? We want that low hip. We want that low hip. No cutback and slingshot at the end. Okay. Slingshot at the end. That's exactly what we want right there. All right, here we go. We're going to show it to us. Hit. Go. There it is. Good. That's it right there. All right, so it's a quick pedal, quick pedal, and, and break in front of the receiver to catch the ball. All right, when you get a chance to do this, all right, when it's appropriate on the field, uh, that's when we want to go for the football, right? If there's, a, if there's a chance that he can catch it and score, if you miss, then you got to strip, right? And we'll work on that later, too. That's it. Step in front, take the ball. That's it, Austin. Try and time it up, guys, so that we're catching the ball right here, okay? What do we say when we get an interception? What is it? TBD? Let's say it. Let's say it. Here you go. Come on, Chris. Pad under pad, Chris. Feet, 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 feet. Good, Chris. Good, Chris. Good job, Chris. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Great job, Austin. Hand, in, hands inside. Hands inside. Zeke, Zeke, you lost your hands, right? Okay, all right, Jalen. Nice lockout, Jalen. There you go, Zeke. There you go, Zeke. There you go, Zeke. There you go, Zeke. Better hands, Zeke. Uh, hey, Jalen, great lockout. That's what you got to do out there on the stock block, right? You get that lockout on the stock block, now you can, you can keep the ball inside you. You can throw him off and make those plays. Good job. Good, 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 good. Good depth, Zeke. Finish, finish. Good depth, Zeke. Zeke, that's a great, great drop right there with depth. Through the curl right there, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ball, ball, ball. Ball finish, good. Nice job squeezing, low. That's way to squeeze him, low. That's way to squeeze him on the post right there. Nice job. Great squeeze back into him. The Irish will hit the field for spring practice number seven late Saturday morning, and our practice report will hit the web Saturday evening. That report will focus on the tight ends and take you on the field with tight ends coach Scott Booker. Jack Nolan, UND.com.